What's up guys, I'm Greg from Pittsburgh Fit. I'm here to tell you about the 4th of July workout that we're gonna do on the Independence Day. We're actually doing it on July 3rd, so here we go. There will be six stations. Each station is gonna be a five minute AMRAP. That means as many reps as possible, as many rounds as you can. Between each station, you get two minutes of rest. The stations will be burpees over the box, ha. Boom, American kettlebell swings, because it's 4th of July, right? Thrusters, oh, terrible. Toes to bar, followed by ring rows, and then the partner Iditarod. Oh yeah, it's a partner workout. There will be teams of three. So in each station, one person will be doing burpees over the box. The other two will be resting. Then you change as needed. So you do sets of five, sets of 10, whatever you do, one of you needs to be moving, the other two will be resting, but cycle through, get as many reps as you can. Rest two minutes. Kettlebell swings, same thing, going through them. Thrusters, happens again. Ring rows, toes to bar, all that jazz. One person working, two people resting, but when we get to the partner Iditarod, that's where it changes. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Station one, burpees over the box. You will be facing the box, Grace drops to the floor, kicks back, thighs, chest, hit the deck. She jumps up onto the box, both feet land on top. She comes away, turns around, steps down. Burpees on the other side, hops up. You can hop up, you can do jumps, or you can do step ups if that's your choosing. Good. Burpee one side, jump over. Burpee the other side, jump over. One partner is working, the other two are resting, and then you cycle through as needed. Sweet. Station two, American kettlebell swings. Gray's gonna pick that kettlebell off the floor with a nice flat back. She's gonna push it down between her legs and kick it through her legs, driving it with her hips, pushing that kettlebell overhead. These aren't rushing. It's Independence Day. It's America's birthday. All the way up top. Good. Station three, dumbbell thrusters. She's gonna pick those dumbbells up to her shoulders. Nice flat back, squat down, drive those up overhead. She's gonna squat down, snap her hips on the way up. That's gonna propel those dumbbells up overhead. She's making a nice straight line between her hands, her shoulders, her hips, and her heels up the top. So good. Station four is toes to bar. Grace is gonna jump up onto the bar. She's gonna have that nice powerful kip, push back with her arms. Kick her feet up to the top. She's going from that nice hollow to arch. Arch position, kick up. Squeezing those abs, kicking those toes nice and high. If you can't do toes to bar, you can do knee raises. Likewise, still using that kipping motion to find that momentum, find that rhythm, get those knees up nice and high. If you can't do knee raises, we have all the variations of sit-up options. There's V-ups, tuck-ups, ab mat sit-ups, armadillos, all of those are also an option. Station five, ring rows. You're gonna walk up to those rings, you're gonna lean back all the way, extend those arms, flatten those palms down. As you pull up, those rings will rotate in towards your palms facing inward. Notice she's keeping her back nice and tight, her core is tight, she's not bending at the waist when she's doing this. To make these easier on herself, she can walk her feet backwards, or if she wants to make them harder, she can walk her feet closer to the wall, it makes it more difficult. Once again, you're in a team of three, you have three people rocking on these, one person working, two people going, you should be moving the whole time. You gonna do 35s? Reps. <laughs> Two reps. <laughs> yeah, grab that kettlebell. That one's gonna be terrible. I'm terrible on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Uh, yep, it's gonna take forever. Break. Nice.